Welcome to today's Inventor blog. Today we're going to look at uh, copying and pasting uh, features. Uh, so many of you may or may not know of uh, copying uh, features or reusing them, uh, kind of like maybe you would um, eye parts or eye features. Um, so you can quickly do that by um, taking from thing, something from an existing design. Uh, so in this case, I, um, I created a new part over here, and what I want to do is I actually want to take uh, this um, feature of these two slots um, and incorporate those into my new design. So rather than going through and sketching and taking those um, or recreating those, uh, many of you, if you right-click on something, may have noticed the copy and paste function. Um, so I can actually take that feature and go ahead, and, or both those features, and go ahead and copy that um, into my new design. So I'm going to go ahead and select paste. Now, when I do this, um, it becomes a paste feature, it's kind of like an eye feature, and is asking me for a plane um, to place this on. So a profile plane is the first thing that needs to be met. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and pick um, this back selected face. Now what I can do is actually go ahead and rotate these items or move them around to position them. So I could actually select that, move it around, uh, place it, or actually get to the, you know, the rotate and rotate it to a different uh, angle that I would want it to be. But I'm going to leave those as a default since I selected uh, kind of the same plane. Um, also, if you're selecting multiple features, um, rather than have them as different sketches, um, you could have them um, come in as selected or independent or um, dependent of one another. In this case, I've only selected one um, feature that was derived from one sketch, so um, it's only going to uh, react that way anyway. So once I finish that, um, I can go ahead and finish uh, my, my feature. Now notice that it is a little bit off and you're thinking, well, that didn't place it very well, but all I have to do is simply go ahead and edit this sketch uh, project a few items that I want uh, over um, in that sketch and then go ahead and uh, align this uh, sketch to where I need it to be and finish the sketch and now I have that copied pattern within there. Um, I could always go ahead and edit those dimensions but at least I have the basic uh, outline and setup dimensions that I needed. So if you're ever wondering what the copy and paste functionality is over here on your browser, now you know maybe some ways that you could use it. Thanks a lot.